the TV season. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many of you out there feel so terrified and riddled with anxiety when it comes to putting on a bathing suit, going outside for beach season? Raise your hand. The anxiety just... All right, well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can actually overcome the anxiety that you feel putting on a bathing suit so you can clear that negative story in your head and feel like the unstoppable, confident babe that you are because you know you are, it's just that voice in your head that's overcoming everything and making you so anxious that you just don't even wanna go to any of these events. You don't wanna put yourself out there because you don't wanna be seen in a bathing suit. And we all know what that feels like, am I right? We can actually work with that anxiety. I'm gonna show you in this video how we can actually release this anxiety, reprogram your mind and that part of your mind that actually is responsible for generating these consistent thought patterns so that you can feel the confidence that you truly know that you have and you can walk out there in that bathing suit, in that bikini, whatever you're putting on and feel like the confident, unstoppable babe that you are. Let's do it, let's make it happen. For the best tips and tools on body confidence, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be notified every Thursday when I post a new video. For those of you that are new to EFT, you can follow along with me or you can choose to watch one of my earlier videos to gain a little bit more understanding about the modality and why this one will change your life. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna leave this up to you. You can, you can go and put on your bathing suit because that is going to bring up the level of anxiety in your body and in your mind and it's always good when we're doing this exercise to give ourselves a little exposure to what we're asking ourselves to do because we we want to raise that anxiety so that we can actually tap it down so if you need to i'll give you a sec here to go put on that bathing suit and if thinking about it alone so thinking about putting on that bathing suit gives you that anxiety and starts to let that anxiety climb then that's cool you don't have to put it on Another thing you can do is just to close your eyes and think about an occasion coming up where you might need to put on a bathing suit or think about putting on a bathing suit. Um, and that will generally raise that anxiety level. So on a scale of one to 10, I want you to rate how strong is your level of anxiety when you think about putting on that bathing suit or if you have it on, how, level, how strong is your level of anxiety right now? Go ahead and write that down. And we're gonna track this as we carry on through this exercise. And just note where are you feeling the anxiety in your body. And now I want you to rate on a scale of zero to 100. So the scale's a little different. How confident do you feel in your bathing suit right now? So if you have it on, how confident do you feel on a scale of zero to 100? And if you're thinking about putting it on, you probably already know how confident do you feel as you imagine yourself being in a bathing suit right now. And go ahead and write that number down. And now we're gonna work on tapping that down and really creating some magic together. Here we go. We're gonna start tapping on the side of the hand. You're gonna tap where I tap and repeat after me. And if any of these points are not accessible to you, then you just choose the ones that are and you just continue with the same process. So even though I don't feel entirely confident in a bathing suit, I accept that that's how I'm feeling in this moment today. Even though I have anxiety when I think about being in a bathing suit, I accept that that's how I feel today. Even though I don't feel totally confident in my bathing suit. And that critical voice starts to talk to me. I acknowledge that that's how I'm feeling in this moment. I don't feel totally confident in a bathing suit. I don't feel totally confident in my bathing suit. It's giving me anxiety. All those critical voices in my head all this anxiety I feel about being in a bathing suit. It's so uncomfortable. 
all this anxiety I feel about being in a bathing suit. I don't feel totally confident in my body. Don't feel total confidence in the bathing suit. I feel uncomfortable when I have to put it on. What will people think? What will people say? My mind always creates these stories. All this anxiety about being in a bathing suit. So much energy spent worrying. Not feeling totally confident in a bathing suit. So just go ahead and take a nice clearing breath. Ah, let that go and just check in with yourself. What is the level of anxiety now on a scale of one to 10 when you think about being in that bathing suit? Okay, so let's go into round two. Even though I'm still feeling this anxiety about my body and being in a bathing suit, I'm willing to acknowledge that that's how I feel today. Even though I still have this anxiety about being in a bathing suit and I don't feel totally confident, I accept that that's where I'm at today. Even though I still feel all this anxiety about being in a bathing suit and I put all this pressure on myself, I might be willing to let some of that go. All this anxiety I feel putting on a bathing suit. I feel so vulnerable. And I'm so hard on myself. I create all these stories about what I look like. All these stories about what other people must think. All this anxiety about being in a bathing suit. All this pressure to be perfect. All this anxiety. Don't feel totally confident in a bathing suit. So I hide myself from experiences. I hold myself back in life from experiences that will trigger me in a bathing suit. And sometimes that means I miss out because I just don't feel confident enough in a bathing suit. I hold myself back because I just don't feel confident enough. What if this could actually change? What if it's possible to have a different relationship with my body? What if it's possible to let go of some of this pressure? What if I don't have to be perfect? What if people love that I'm not perfect? What if I could spend more time celebrating what I do love about my body? instead of focusing on what I don't love. I wonder how this loving energy would shift my relationship with my body and my confidence. Even though I don't totally love my body right now, 
I'm willing to acknowledge that I'm changing that in this moment. And by showing up here and doing this video, I'm making positive change. I'm proving to myself that I do want a more empowered relationship with my body. I deserve that loving relationship with my body. I deserve to feel more confident about myself and my body. And I have the power to create this shift one step at a time. And I'm already doing that right now. Choosing to, letting, choosing to let go of some of those negative stories about myself and welcoming in more love and acceptance. Beautiful. So just take a nice cleansing breath. And now go ahead and just check in with yourself. How are you feeling now? How is that anxiety on a scale of one to 10? When you think about putting on that bathing suit or when you think about yourself in that bathing suit if you're already in it what is your level of body confidence now your level of confidence in that bathing suit on a scale of zero to 100 i would love to hear in the comments how that went how that level of confidence is coming along and remember that when we are tapping we are working directly with our emotional regulatory center which is that in voice of anxiety and so when we have anxiety it is not possible for us to simultaneously feel this compassion and confidence for ourselves because that frontal cortex, that part of the brain actually gets shut off by our stress response. So by tapping and doing this exercise, you're actually directly empowering yourself. You're stepping into more confidence. You're gonna see and feel those results because confidence is something that comes from the inside out. It's not an, it's not an exterior thing and we all know that. And so when you can actually work on clearing some of this anxiety, you're going to be able to step out there with so much confidence that people are going to be like, who's that? Right? So I can't wait for you to continue practicing this and see and feel the magical results. If you haven't already downloaded my free training to overcome your inner critic, this is a beautiful training to further support you in overcoming some of those stories that we get stuck in so you can restore your total confidence and really radiate like you truly deserve to. So the link is right below. And if you're in a place where you want to take this further in your life, you really want to overcome, you know, the limiting beliefs, the stories, the anxiety, the pain that's keeping you stuck and holding you back. And you want to just, you want to step into the, the confidence that you truly deserve, not only in your body image, but in your entire life, then I would love to work with you one-on-one -on -one in my signature three-month Brazen Body Breakthrough program. You can go ahead and um, sign up through that link below to ch have a chat with me and explore how we can change your life. I am so excited to see you again next Thursday. Please share your thoughts. I always love hearing what videos you wanna see next because this is for you and I love supporting you. So I'm so grateful that you were here. Can't wait to see you again very soon.